When Evan was a child, he wanted to own his own cranberry bog. One day, that focus shifted when he moved up north to New Hampshire and bought his first quart of fresh syrup. It quickly became an obsession, pouring it into his coffee every single morning. And then I started catching on too. We noticed downhill tapping systems when we hiked through the AT in Vermont. And after surveying our new land in Maine, we counted hundreds of maples just waiting to be tapped. It was meant to be. So we bought this wonderful shed off the side of the road one day and the adventure began. Welcome to our journey of starting up our own maple operation from scratch and all the trials and victories that have come along with it. What do we got going on over here? Grab a brush, you got your container already filled. All right. Start going for it. Let's do it. This is it. This is our sugar shack. We just had it delivered. Uh, earlier today and we are in the process of staining it look at that we got uh, new redwood as the color for the stain and you can just see the difference there Beautiful. bam bam this is white pine right here and it's uh, just unfinished so I'm gonna throw a good coat of stain on her sun's still pretty high in the sky right now so we got some time it's about one o'clock take a look inside of here this is it. This is going to be the sugar and shack. It's uh, 12 by 8. I think that's just the perfect amount of, uh, of space. This whole side's just, just asking for some stain, so... Alright everybody. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful sugar shack we just finished putting the first coat of stain on here and as you can see it is a vast difference from what it was this is already dry we just finished that sun did its work for sure it's kind of behind the trees now uh we got one whole gallon of stain on here and it pretty much got the whole thing and you can see on this side I don't know if the camera can pick it up. Oh, you can kind of see it, but there's this like little uh, imprint right here. This is actually where they had a sign with the number of the builder. This was the shed that we saw out in front of the hardware store, and that's where they had a sign up. The sun kind of bleached around it, and you can see clearly where it was. We'll get another coat on here at some point, but we just wanted to get the first coat on there to really uh, protect the wood. Show you guys the inside again. So yeah, we didn't, uh, the inside is still as it was. Uh, no need to put any stain in here because we're actually gonna put some insulation in here uh, when we get it down to where it's supposed to be. Um, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. We're gonna put insulation in here and all along here. And since this is gonna be a sugar shack, we're gonna put a nice big vent on this side uh, for, for some good ventilation. When we're um, boiling off that maple sap, there's gonna be a lot of uh, steam, a lot of moisture. Normally, a sugar shack has a cupola which is that like square thing, it looks like another house with the roof and ventilation all around. Normally uh, they have that right up in the top here. But I think for us, for, for right now, we're gonna be okay with just a, a really nice big vent on that side. We might get like a fan in here when I am boiling off that, the sap. Uh, just to just to get it all out of there. Let me show you guys where we're gonna put it and How we're gonna get this down there the plan right now is to put an eye bolt in drill a hole in the the skid here put an eye bolt through and Hook it up with chains on either side put eye bolts on either side 
with the chain and just kind of drag it down with the tractor down here. This is our little driveway to our cabin. It doesn't have water or electric or septic or any of that. It's basically just a cabin and that's it. We're hopefully gonna be getting all that in, get the holes dug and all that before the frost and the snow comes. Here she is. This is where I uh, cleared a path out uh, before we left started digging right there. I didn't get too far. Yeah, eventually this is going to be where the water and electric are going to go, hopefully, in between these two rocks here, assuming we can dig six feet down. And then it's going to have to go around this rock and then, yeah, up on the wall there. So we'll figure that out. We are going to get the sugar shack, hopefully drug all the way down here. And the final resting place is going to be right here. We already got it kind of laid out with some wood. Just kind of mark where we want it. Steve was talking about possibly getting some rollers and maybe rolling it down. But that, that'll be another thing altogether. So, hello, my fern. How are you today? Good. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> We, she was doing some uh, some painting with us. We got it all and, done, all yeah. four of us. We got it done in like two hours, so it was awesome. Not even, like an yeah. hour 15, really. It we was a- uh, stain done and it, yeah. it's stunning. It's so beautiful and the dream is really coming alive here, so. Yes. get these concrete footings down and hopefully get it somewhat level. So we're gonna push all this back and then level it out with a bucket and uh, see how it's looking. Sometimes love is a dancer in the dark Spinning left and twirling through the back door All right. And this is what we're looking like now. Man, this thing is a beast. Took out a few trees, namely these ones. Tree right here, it, we're gonna have to take down as well. But uh, it's already dead, which is a good thing. Steve actually had a really good idea of using this as a, one of the rollers, or at least um, we might even be able to get two rollers out of it because it's uh, just the perfect diameter. I mean, it's already dead, so it, it, it's got to come out anyway. That'll be perfect. We're going to chainsaw this one right now and then push all the rest of this off and hopefully get the rest of this looking real flat. This is the perfect spot for a sugar shack. There she goes. Woo! Timber! So here it is. This is our basic layout of where the sugar shack is going to go. We kind of dug into this root mat of this tree right here. We're probably going to have to hack all this out with like an axe or something. And we're, we're probably going to end up taking this tree down as well. It's too bad because it's a living tree and it's a, it's a maple. So bummer on that, but it wasn't a tapper anyways. So that's all good. And plus if we take it out, then we got all this space we can work with now. Yeah, that's it. This is where the sugar shack is gonna go now and uh it's a much better uh spot than our first choice which was over there on the slope we're gonna have to clear out a bunch of uh stuff over here as well all this all this we're gonna have to clear out because when we bring it down we're gonna have to bring it down all the way to about here pivot it about 90 degrees and then bring it hopefully straight in to where it's going to be. So uh, yeah, that's it for today. Hello everybody. From day two 
of the Sugar Shack. We have already got a jump start and we, we drilled holes in the skids here and we put this eye bolt in there over here. And then we got some slightly smaller ones on this side right there and then on the other side over there. We just ran into an issue. This thing, it does not fit through the eyelet there. Luckily, we picked up one of these just as an extra and we got this thing as well. So hopefully swap this out on the other one and make it work. So we had to dig a whole bunch of dirt out of this area right here. Got some good backhoe action in. So really excited about that. We dug a bunch of dirt out of here. We got to level all this out anyways. But the reason why is because we have to level out the driveway where there is a big rut um, in order to get the shed down safely. trying to level out this dip now that we've created. Now there's that uh, kind of a hump and a dip. So probably at least one, two, maybe even three more loads. We'll see. So guys, we have uh, decided to call it a day. We got a bunch done. We're learning. We made some mistakes. We took out a lot of dirt and uh, material from here. We're done taking dirt from this area. We've decided we're gonna take the rest of what we need from the meadow up there, which is probably what we should have done anyways because that's more like sandy, gravelly stuff. We're actually gonna have to come back and just fill up a little bit of this. It's coming along. Let me just show you over there real quick what we did. And this turned into a project. This is what was uh, kind of eaten away all of our time. So we actually got some really good progress here. This rock is uh, not much of an issue now because we filled up about at least a solid four to five inches of dirt right there. So we filled up this rut. We just kept driving over it with the tractor. It's gonna need a little bit more uh, fill from, uh, from the meadow. Yeah, we just need to finish uh, leveling out that bit to lessen the hump right there and then we can get to cutting that tree, making those log rollers, and hopefully getting the shack down here in a couple days, <laughs> now it looks like. Catch you guys later. Good morning, everyone. More projects, more stuff uh, uh, before we can even get it down here. A few things for today. I'm gonna try to get some more material from up top try to smooth this out. It got kind of leafy since we were last down here. The, uh, the oaks have finally started to shed their leaves. They were the last holdouts of the season. Got pretty well leafed up, so probably gonna have to come in here with the leaf blower, clean this all up. I gotta fill this in a bit and then just smooth it all over. There's a big root right there, still gotta cut. Yeah, that's it for, for uh, where it's gonna go. But as far as before that happens, all this has got to be cleaned up. From this tree over needs to be fully just leveled because the sugar shack is going to have to come up here, turn 90 degrees, and then back in through here. Hopefully kind of a mostly straight shot into where we're going to put it. I'm going to start with here, probably going to cut this log up into sections so I can move it out easily. And there's a few stumps in here also, which I'm going to have to dig up with the backhoe. Hopefully we don't run into more rocks like that.
Got a couple stumps to take care of now with the backhoe. Got that one up, as you can see. Funnily enough, the smaller one is the one that's given me some issues. There's just like a big old root ball right here. Solid wood. There it is. That's what we call sweet, sweet victory. Oh, she did not want to go. Here's the end result. Not too bad, if I must say. Um, I avoided digging too much for fear of uh, this tree right here. I didn't want to disturb its roots. So I just skimmed kind of the top and just uh, flattened her out. And I used the rake for the final touch up. Might need to bring some more material in to just kind of top it off and make it more level in the future. But for now, this will do her. The next order of business is filling in that little excavation hole right there and then flatten her out. But until then, catch you guys later. Just losing track of time.